Hey everybody, Stephen Pender with Eve's Trough, and I'm just going to make this quick video to show you guys yet another gutter guard that fails. And uh, also on top of that, an installation that failed. Um, honestly, this guard does kind of seem like it would work on paper. It really did. I was kind of surprised to find out how bad it wasn't working. Um, out front, it's not doing too bad, but out back, um, which we'll go to next, I'll show you why the design flawed of it. Um, is just keeping it from working. It's not working too well. But here out front and actually all over the house is what I want to bring your attention to is when this installer installed it, you see how he left the back? I'll try to get that on video. Let's see how we do. See how he just left the back completely open. And what that's allowed to happen is when you've got this big open area, um, birds can get in there. And as you see, He's got himself a bird's nest right at the downspout. So this downspout is completely clogged. There's not a lot of debris in the gutter. I'm going to see about popping this guy off. See, as far as the gutter is concerned, it's actually pretty empty. This guard's kept a lot of debris out of it. But you can see down here how much debris the birds have put in here to create a bird's nest. At every single end point of his gutters and the guard has been left fully wide open. He has a bird's nest at every single end spot of his gutters. He's got four straight stretches of gutters here. He has seven bird's nests. So it's just something I want to discuss. Um, when you're installing a gutter guard or if somebody's going to install a gutter guard under your house, you want to make sure they're closing in the end with some kind of end cap to keep out birds and other uh, pests and rodents and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead, uninstall this guard. We're gonna put Leaf Blaster Pro on it. We're gonna put an end cap on it and that's gonna solve his problems. And once we get out back, I'll show you the design flaw in this gutter guard um, that's preventing it from being able to work properly. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, real quick, just to show you. Yeah, that's what we had on here. Now we're going to go ahead and put the Leaf Blaster Pro. That's a high flow mesh dealing with But what's most important that I want to show you is the end cap here. And you can see, hopefully, big difference between what we had before. And I'm hopefully going to be able to get an angle of that. You can see now the back is completely closed off. Uh, birds, no sorts of pests or anything can get into there. Um, so, you know, you just want to make sure when you have a gutter guard put on your house, that the guy installing it has enough experience, attention to detail to know to put an end cap on, how to put an end cap on, that way nothing can get in. Because as you saw, there's really nothing with debris in the gutters, but that doesn't matter because there was, you know, the end was left wide open, birds were able to get in there, and I mean, you saw how much debris the birds put like two, two feet of clogged debris in there. That's just from the first edge right here. Like I said, as we get to every single edge, there is a bird's nest. So. Once again, this is Stephen Pender with Eavestroff and just showing you the importance of having an end cap on your gutter guard system.